So I did it, finally did it. Well, you guys made me do it. Uh, I finally cleaned my office. And I asked you guys over on Instagram what video you wanted to see, and you chose the office tour. So I had to clean. So it's 2022, and yes, the pandemic is still going on. And like many of you out there, I am still working from home. So I've had to kind of make the most of what I've got really. I live in quite a small flat. We've got a spare bedroom, which I've kind of turned into this kind of home office studio kind of setup. It's not overly exciting, but it's functional. Um, so today I'm going to give you a little tour of everything, uh, kind of show you the goings on in the stellar HQ at the moment, you know. So before we get into that, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. Loved all the comments on the last video. Thank you for all your kind messages. I am officially negative from COVID-19, which is great. I'm allowed outside again, which is amazing. Um, and of course you chose to do a video of me stuck inside, so that's fine. I'll forgive you. So I'm actually going to be shooting most of this video today on my phone, and um, purely for ease's sake. I don't, it's quite a small room, I don't want to be lugging a big camera around with me. I'm live mic'd up, so you should be able to hear me, and yeah, let's see if I can get this synced up, recording, see you in a bit. Okay, so you're officially behind the scenes. Um, I'll start with this little YouTube filming setup I've got here. Um, because this is quite a small room, I don't have much space to put a set in. Um, you see other YouTubers having their whole office behind them. I don't have the space for that. So what I've got to kind of make this back wall a bit more interesting, I've got these two Quasar Science two foot light tubes, just to kind of add a little bit of dynamic to that back wall. And I'm going to replace these with one four footer, which makes more sense um, rather than having these two here and just make it a little bit nicer. Over here, just got a random TV, old TV. Um, nowhere else to put it really, um, so it's there for now, it'll probably disappear at some point but at the moment I've got a little games console plugged in, retro gaming, all the way. So as for the little filming setup I've got here, I'm using the Aperture 300D Mark II, uh, it's only set at like 18% and it's still blowing my face off which is really good, really powerful light. It's shining through the Aperture Light Dome, the first version, it's a really nice big soft light, it gives you really nice soft light on my face. It's the only light I use to really light these YouTube videos, apart from the two behind the couch. Uh, filming wise, I'm shooting on the Red Komodo purely because I'm a dick. And I have it sitting there, uh, I use it for client work mostly, but because I've not had many in-person clients recently, uh, I don't want it gathering dust, so I'm using it for this. Make, make the videos look good, why not? Um, and monitoring wise, I've got the Atomos Ninja 5 up there connected via SDI into the um, Komodo. Makes for really nice images and really clear monitoring. So yeah. Over on this wall, I have uh, an old garage shelving unit. Um, super cheap, super handy, got it from B&Q. Uh, it really wasn't that expensive, but I can basically store all my shit in it, which is great. Um, over on this side, I store all my light stands and tripods and things. And more importantly, they're now all, they're all bungeed in. Which is really handy because I had an incident where one of these light stands fell over and put a massive hole in the wall. <coughs> which wasn't fun. Um, so yeah, bungees are super handy things to have around. Um, so I've got a bunch of those attached to the side. Um, some of the clips that I showed you in the last video. Um, let's swing around here. Okay, I'll just flip you around and show you the top of this unit here. So first of all, I've got my motorcycle helmet from that one time I passed my motorcycle test and never rode a bike again. But maybe one day I will. The helmet's still here and I think I can still ride. Who knows? That'll be a fun video for when I get to it. Um, also here I've got a little sugar skull from Mexico, pre-pandemic. Got some batteries, v batteries there. I've got my gimbal of choice, which is the DJI Ronin S. Um, looking to upgrade this soon, but at the moment this thing still holds its own. So if you're looking for a cheap gimbal that is still quite relevant today, go for the Ronin S. Behind that I've got Stellar branded water bottle. Always be representing. That's all I'm saying. Um, lens cleaner. So this little thing I'm pretty pleased with. Um, it's basically a tool shelving unit. I have 
all the tools, camera parts, things like that in here. I've got a drawer full of Allen keys. I don't know what it is with uh, camera gear manufacturers that with every bit of camera gear, you get an Allen key. I mean, it makes sense that you get an Allen key, but I now have so many Allen keys. And at some point I thought I didn't have enough Allen keys and I bought more Allen keys. So that's the Allen key drawer. I might need to upgrade it to like a chest of Allen keys, but yeah. That's super handy for keeping things organized. Up here I've got like little pouches, hard pouches for cables, laptop chargers, hard drives. So yeah, down here I've got a couple of bins. I've got just a bin full of kind of camera parts, cables, lighting and stuff like that. I've got one here, which is all batteries, battery chargers. And the one underneath it is audio supplies. Um, next to that I've got obviously gaff tape, which is the most important thing in the kit bag, gaff tape. Um, sitting on a printer. Uh, every office has a printer <coughs> and every office has a printer that doesn't work. That's this. Um, for those two times a year that I need to print things and you go to print something and it's never connecting and always headache but you have to have one don't you? So for that sitting there um, on top of that is the Zoom F6 audio recorder um, for when I'm doing podcasts or when I used to do podcasts um, and record voiceovers and things like that there. Underneath that we've got Pelican case and the my photo camera bag. Next to that is just a bunch of boxes, an old light panel, um, Edelchrone slider. Um, over on this side we've got some aperture light boxes, got some light modifiers, got some flatly like slates and backdrops and things under there. And up in the top, if you're a photographer or filmmaker with some kind of home office or studio, you've got to have the old cameras, yeah? This one was actually my dad's camera. Um, still works, still shoots film, but I need to get a film for it because I've never shot a film before and I really want to try it out, so stay tuned for that. And also up here I've got my first ever photo camera. This is the Sony a6000, still takes amazing photos, so if you're in the market for a cheap first camera, I highly recommend this. Behind that there, some of you have noticed it already, I've got it framed. It's not the best framing work, but it's framed and I love it. There's my brand in there. Still super chuffed with that. Um, up the top here, I've got some prints of my photos that I've got made. That is that camera that I just showed you. And that's the other one that's there as well. Not entirely sure how that one works, but maybe one day I'll find out. Um, this whole room, by the way, is getting lit by this Aperture 120D, pointing straight up to the roof, giving nice soft light over everything, nice even lighting over everything. And there you can see the 300D Mark II powering the YouTube setup over there. And now onto my desk. Now this is basically an IKEA kitchen worktop that has been repurposed into a desk. It's super long, which is really nice. And um, I've got some plant life over here, real plants, not IKEA fake plants, IKEA real plants. Um, got notebook and pen, I'm very much a pen and paper kind of guy when it comes to ideas and things, I love noting stuff down. Speaker wise are just um, some simple bows, I think they're Champion 2s, again, nothing special. Got the wireless charging puck. <coughs> Monitor is an LG 32 inch ultra wide curved monitor, um, it's actually got a wee scratch in it which is kind of annoying. Um, but this thing, it's been a lifesaver. I did have two monitors, I had two 24 inch monitors side by side. Um, but I could not for the life of me get them to calibrate the same, which was really annoying. Um, so basically I sold those and got this, which has been an absolute game changer because you can edit on it and you've got the nice long timeline along the bottom and you've got two big source monitors on it. It's awesome. I highly recommend if you're a creator, if you're a video editor, invest in a widescreen monitor. It will change your life. Um, keyboard wise, it's I've got the MX, the MX keys I think it is from Logitech, which is really cool because I use both Mac and PC. I use PC for video editing and Mac for photo editing. And on this keyboard, 
I can flick between the two just by the touch of a button, which has been super handy and super useful. Like I said, I use Mac for photo editing, so right now I'm using a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I think it's from 2018. It does the trick. It is really handy for when I'm traveling. It's nice and small and things like that. Behind that, I've got the Rode PodMic um, for voiceovers and podcasts, like I mentioned earlier, and a pair of Beats headphones um, just for monitoring audio, really. The camera here is my current photo camera and some video camera. It's the Sony a7 III and I've got a small HD focus monitor on the top of that. 16 to 35 lens, pretty standard. Um, yeah, PC's under there. Again, pretty standard, nothing much special about it. And over here has been something that has been keeping me sane through lockdown and that is the Peloton bike. Basically we've got nowhere else to put it in the house. So it's in here, but we still use it pretty much every day. It has been a godsend um, when it comes to uh, keeping sane through the pandemic. Got it second hand, so bargain as well. And so yeah, that is basically the room. Super small, super compact, but does the job, nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, let's head back to the couch. Ugh. So yeah, that's you, that's you guys seen it all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the workspace. Um, maybe it's given you some ideas for your workspace. Who knows? Um, but like I say, I don't feel it's anything special, but it gets the job done. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button somewhere. And please leave a comment. I would love to hear your opinions on this place. Maybe any ideas for making it better. Um, if I've missed anything out, let me know and I'll chat to you about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.